<laughs> Go ahead. Okay, so there's new people here. Hello, everyone I haven't said hello to. So we need one person to do a bonus next week. Who can do a bonus? I'd be happy to do that. Who's that? Who's that? Gail. Gail, Gail said it. Hello, Gail. Yeah, All right. I have a bonus you. that I just thought of recently. So Okay, cool. All right. So you're down. Oh, sorry. So next week it's gonna be Terry, Vincent, me, Carl, and Gail. Cool. All done. Yeah, Adrian's been helping me with the questions. So good. They're not going to be all easy. I, uh oh, I made them easy, but she says no. She says, don't don't uh -oh. make them. I can't even judge what's easy or hard. <laughs> I have no idea. Uh -oh. It's easy if I know it. That's the yeah, right exactly. And the what question, I know and what everybody else knows is exactly. yeah. Yeah. The questions that I that I have are pretty easy. So. So, so what you're telling me is Adrian is going to go through them and make them harder. Like if they're multiple choice, she'll take the multiple choice off, stuff like that. She so did take a couple just, of multiple choice. Uh, yeah. It's just a way of yeah, dodging no. blame so that if it's bad, he can blame Adrian. And That's true. That's right. <laughs> well, I was going to make them easier, but Adrian thought they should be harder. So it should be yeah. explained to her. That's why you all got zeros. Yeah. Oh no, nobody's gonna get zeros on these mm -hmm. questions. I oh, that's the famous last word. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. You, you no. underestimate our ignorance. No. <laughs> 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 no. Oh, they're... nobody's gonna get a zero. Surely everybody knows that the crankshaft. And I and I wish I could tell engine at 3.48 inches. <laughs> yeah. I uh, ordered some. Oh, yeah. More. I ordered some stamps from the post office the other day, just random stamps, and this is what they sent me. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, Mid Atlantic Lighthouses. Oh, 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 oh wow. wow. Would, would, any of, that. would that have helped? That a would that have trauma helped? triggering experience for you to have that brought back? <laughs> Mid Atlantic. Uh, that is uh, lighthouses on the Atlantic coast of the U.S. Somewhere along the middle of it. Mm hmm. Not in the middle of the Atlantic, yes. <laughs> As opposed to on, on the you know, Mid-Atlantic Rift, no. Jim, Jim, you weren't here when we had a set on lighthouses. Oh, I was. No, the other uh, no James was. Oh. <laughs> but Jim wasn't. Oh, oh, I see, yes, yes. Yeah. yeah. Other Jim. Yeah. What is the yeah. diameter of the largest lighthouse in Maine, plus or minus two centimeters? <laughs> What is the name of the southernmost lighthouse in the world? Not the city it's in, not what location. Not the country, the not the city, the, the name of the lighthouse. Yeah. I, it wasn't the lighthouse, it was the size of the bowl. Oh, Kevin is taunting us. <laughs> Maybe the mirror? I don't remember. Yeah, mirror, yeah I think I can. Lighthouse. Would they? I would, guess it to be, I would guess it to be on Terra in the region of Terra del Fuego. I doubt there are any lighthouses in Antarctica. But... There, so it speaking is Terra del Fuego, but that was not the answer. One, one of the tchotchke stories I, I wandered into when we were looking around in Florida is like, I, I swear 90% of their product was lighthouse things. You know, three foot lighthouses to put on your lawn, little lighthouse cups, lighthouse this, and I was triggered. Stop it. I don't want to see that. <laughs> yeah. Couldn't talk, Alan. What? Yeah, I said good and talk to Alan because his son is from uh -huh. Germany. Ah, yes. How, yes. how did the uh, travel go? My knob itch. Did uh, I? My, <laughs> <laughs> oh, there. Get his, travels, his travels went fine. He's settled in. He's got an apartment for a little bit mm -hmm. anyway. And it uh, looks like a neat place. The place, uh, the university itself, uh, was actually built to rival Versailles. And it has that thing. It's like a palace. It says it's like it was a palace, and so it looks kind of neat, you know. But uh, he's a happy camper. Oh, well, that's good. I, don't know. Uh, I guess if you get to camp in a palace, like maybe that's <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know about camping, but um, yes, whatever it is he's doing there. Well, maybe he'll pick up some German while he's there. Well, he's doing, he started doing. Uh, he started doing a little uh, Duolingo. So I told him um, just he, he needs to know how to say how much, where's the bathroom. Uh -huh. oh. And may I have coffee and may I have beer. 
yeah. That's, that's what I taught my husband who, in Spanish when we were going yeah. to go. Something helping me. Yeah. I remember watching. Wo ich bin. Can you help me? I don't know where I am. I remember watching Das the, the movie Das Boot way back when. And uh, I saw that. Everything was subtitled except the first two two words. So why beer? <laughs> <laughs> you know, um yeah, I, I well, yeah. He'll 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 manage. Is he going to learn as much German as he learned Hungarian when he spent the year in Budapest? Um, I told, I threatened him that he's got to look up occasionally. He can't just sit there and look at his books. Yes. You know. So Did he no, ever he's leave already, his hotel? No, he had to because he had to tra travel from to his to his classes. That's, that's but no, no, no. He's already got things lined up. He's he's learned his lesson. So I think he'll 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 see stuff. Good. Sorry about the cat. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Here's going. Yeah, I uh, wish you'd take the cat away. I have. Can some people have allergies? <laughs> <laughs> so he brings the cat up. Not over Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> this funny. this is the diabetic cat. The the renal cat passed away last week. Oh, oh, that's too bad. oh, oh I'm sorry. Or, for a while, I, th I, I thought I was allergic to cats because I had a, uh, uh, because I got, I, I got itchy eyes with a cat in way back when, but now I've been tutoring at a, a, a student who's got two cats in the house and either some cats don't trigger my allergies or I've just lost the allergy. <laughs> well, my, my, our oldest brother, has used that as an excuse not to visit me for the 41 <laughs> years that I've lived in New Jersey uh -huh. because we have cats and he's, although he wanted to be a vet when he was younger, he's definitely allergic to cats or so he says. Where did he want to be? You're right, he did until dad told him that he'd have to stick his hand, his arm up the ass of a cow. So he said, <laughs> well, he do that. <laughs> Yikes. Okay, so I'm making the breakout rooms. Who else besides Terry is going to be a short timer this evening? Are you, are you, uh, Rob, are you doing this thing? Are you the, 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 do, do, do you not, the ring leader? Do, do you, you the not ring? see my name here? Do you not? Yes, there's Susan Gerber, Terry. Yeah, yeah. In, in her, her house, house, too. Uh, is that Susan's Tip. name? Okay. Tip. I'm going to try to stay for the whole night. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. I, I, will, I will be here for you right now, so. Yeah, I'll be here for two rounds, maybe three. Ron is two or three. Okay. Anybody yeah. else? I'll, I'll be here, here for two or I'll three. be here for five, maybe six. Wait a minute. Wait, Jim, Jim Bird. Two, <laughs> maybe three if you go through through them quickly. Two or three. <laughs> in, Bob, other words, Bob, in other words, two. What did you say, Bob? Um, yeah. I'll be here for five, maybe six. <laughs> Stop it. Okay. So, so far I have three people who are going to be short timers. So I'll try to take that into consideration, making them as Terry, Ron, and Jim. Uh, put oh, them in the losers Rob. group. <laughs> put them in now, again. That's not nice. <laughs> put them on the same team with Carl. Yes. We'll be on I don't Carl's know. Team. I might not be strong on Peggy rounds. Rob, you need a video background of a video of, of Mark coming in and saying hi and then leaving that you can play in the background. <laughs> yeah. Where, yeah. Kiss him on the cheek. <laughs> so where where is Susan today? I don't actually, I don't actually know. She's someplace uh, no, airborne, no. hypothetically. No, twenty five thousand feet. <laughs> I it's thought she was in the upper left. She's, she's high. She might be omnipresent. There's Deborah. I hope I'm on her team. Hi, Deborah. Hi, Deborah. You're you're, you're talking, but we can't hear. You. You are correct. Yeah. Oh, Susan's here. <laughs> Susan's here. She had extensive uh, plastic surgery. <laughs> Witness protection. They'll never figure it out. <laughs> oh, they looks like maybe she's a lighthouse. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Almost. Oh, that's me. Um, let's see. She <laughs> says Susan Gerbic on her name. It just she just wants to look like Rob now. You should. Yeah, you should. <laughs> 
Susan Tabbs. Susan Tabbs. Susan Gerbic. He, him. What do you got? Have your pronouns there. <laughs> All right. You know, you, this is not right. I actually, I actually look, it annoys me that if people join after you say create breakout rooms and you're fiddling with names, they don't appear there. So I actually Google this to see if I'm missing something. And I got a YouTube video of somebody who's supposedly an expert in this. And she had a whole session on how you do breakout rooms and assign people, <laughs> but she didn't cover that question. So I asked her the question in the chat and she just got back to me. So, oh no, you can do that. Yeah, well, I can't. I'm doing looking at it right now and no, you can't. Like, I wanna be on Deborah team Deborah is not in the list. So it's just weird. Hmm? Uh. Deborah, are you gonna come up in August for the Ray Hyman thing? I think so. I asked Susan about it on, on Sunday, but she wasn't sure how they were going and when they were leaving or any of that. So I have to kind of wait and find out. I just booked the location where we can go for dinner on an out at an outdoor patio. Awesome. Awesome. So, next. Yeah. And so, I also I've also got all but one speaker left booked. Cool. Well, so we have me, really good speakers. Send me the dates or something so I can kind of get an idea because I have to ask for time out. I, Try to explain their time do, off. Do I have do I have your email? Let me look. I don't know. <laughs> Can you message it to me privately? Yeah. I don't think let me look. I'm gonna look to see if I have your email. Oh come on. Because you know what, Janine, if we get your email, oh man, I tell mm. you. Oh, no, no, no. This was Deborah's. I didn't want Deborah to. To, she can tell everybody I'm or kidding. not, but I'm kidding. <laughs> I wouldn't want anyone to know my email. It's all <laughs> over back. I trust the people in here that if I gave my email, nothing would happen. So. <laughs> you know, so I don't have your email, Deborah. Okay, I'll send it to you. Hang on. Send it to I, me. So I would, I guarantee you I'd lose it. So. <laughs> yeah it's safe it's very safe right <laughs> <laughs> that's what when people tell me something that's like in confidence i go don't worry about it. i'll forget it by probably tomorrow and <laughs> won't be able to spread it with anybody it, it wasn't that interesting so. and it was <laughs> well that depends on if you want to i, I wouldn't it, tell but. anybody <laughs> okay folks i am going to send you to your rooms hopefully okay, this works. Do I have it? here you go oh. um got it thank you Oh, actually, so I need to be in a room. I keep forgetting that because I'm playing tonight. All right, so here's the thing. Some, uh -huh. some, somebody uh, somebody, do a thing one to five. Who wants to do it? Wendy, you do it. What? Uh, somebody with an iPhone, actually, or, or an Android. You could say, pick a number between, you know, hey, Siri, pick a number between, and it'll give you a number. So that's the, that's the team I'll go on. Between zero right. and six, then. Who's, what? Or one and five inclusive. One and five inclusive. Who's got an iPhone who can do that or otherwise? I don't. Echo, pick a number between one and five. Two or three. <laughs> what did it say? I didn't hear it. Four. Four. Okay. I'm Actually, on room four. you want a, an <laughs> integer between one and five inclusive. I think it understood that. All right. So I'm in room four. Who's, who is Ecto? Why am I not Echo. here? Oh, Echo. <laughs> it sounds like the Ghostbusters. Okay. Rob, do I have power yet, Rob? No, not yet. I'm still doing the room things. Okay, so that's interesting. I can't put myself in a room. I don't even appear here. Uh, uh, there's no you have to do that when everybody in the room. You can always just there's manually there. join whatever room you yeah, want. Yeah, yeah. So that's it. All right, I'll be I'll be in team four. All right, here we go. Here we go. Open roll room. Mm -hmm. I got assigned a room. Am I supposed to go? Yes. No, I had to put you somewhere. It doesn't like okay. what you're not. So you I'll just not know it then. And I was late, so I'm sure you hadn't put me in a room no, yet. No, the stupid system does not allow it. I don't know why. I could talk about, they said, oh, yeah, you're missing something. You can do it. Well, it doesn't appear. <laughs> Now, once you open the rooms, now it, they're on top. This is not assigned. But before yes. that, there is nobody there. I, I had that, to finish you know, Strange New Worlds first before I joined. You know, I, I did that every other week, and today I, I didn't have time. 
<laughs> no spoilers. Okay. Uh, so it was good. Let's that was see. fun. What, what room? Who needs people? Let's see. I think I'm going to be there. All right. I'm going to put you five. Should be five, right? Yes, correct. Okay. And Kat's iPad and Terry's iPad just stays here, right? Because I don't know. Yeah. If it's... Okay. So I'm going to go to room four since I'm playing with them. And so you're going to recall everybody too, Rob? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. You don't have powers yet. Let me do that first. Make co host. Yes. Got it? Um, well, yes. Okay, cool. I do now. All right, see you in a bit. Okay. I was going to do this, I think, six minutes. Start. Me, 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 me. Timer. Let's see how much six is.
Well, you guys are fast. Yep. I got to undo it. We, we decided to be fast because we started late and we're going to be here till midnight. Yeah. I won't give you guys that much time. So be prepared for fast categories. Oh, good. Good. Since we, since it's almost seven o'clock here already and we haven't even started. Yep. Hey, it's almost nine. <laughs> so that's right. Yep. Although for my brother, it's tomorrow morning. Mm. Terry, I can't remember where you are. Where are you? Kansas, Shawnee, Kansas. Oh, okay. Shawnee, Kansas. Yeah. Sounds charming. Well, it's really Kansas City. It's just a suburb. Kansas City, Kansas. <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah. So you guys were under five. Good work. Shall I call them all back then? Yes. Put the pressure on. <laughs> Even for just naming. I, I set a timer for six minutes. I thought six minutes. And I didn't do that until about a minute or more in. So that's probably enough time, huh? It should be. It should be. But sometimes people get very chatty or they just fall into the funk and they can't think of a name. Yeah, you oh. either fall into a funk or you start talking and like five minutes yeah. is like, oh, we should really come up with a team name, even though we've been talking for five minutes. Yep. I'm going to go join somebody and see how they're doing. Okay. So, Ron, you also have a, a sibling here. Do you see him otherwise? You're muted. Thank you. I keep forgetting you switch rooms and it mutes you again. Right. Yeah, Alan's in uh, Chicago. I'm in New Jersey. So we haven't, other than we were actually at a bat mitzvah, um for a, a nephew back in january it was the first time i guess we've seen each other in about four years wow yeah that's that's the, the only time i get to see my brother is here we talk on the phone sometimes or on chat sometimes but we never see each other except here and i've only been on the same team with him once <laughs> but it probably yeah. is good because he, he's better than i am at this he's not <laughs> Yeah, so far I haven't. Yeah, so far I haven't been on Alan's team yet. I think that's a good thing, but uh... I thought it was interesting that when Jamie came up with the the topic for one of them, um, I knew less than I thought. But when I came up with the topic, he did really well on that, apparently. And I think that's because uh, he's more likely to know my topics. I am. He's a physicist, and that's not a topic I know anything about. Because even what I thought I knew in high school is all not there anymore. Yeah. I'm still trying to think of a topic that I could do one of these days. I find that the most fun I have is finding a topic because I'm interested in it and then researching it to make the questions. Yeah, I yeah. learn so much while I'm writing the questions that it's really fun. Exactly. It's fun and to do when you don't know the answer. Well, <clears throat> I, and I find one of the things that I'm, I'm doing now is I'm just out in the world looking at things. So I'm thinking that would be a topic for trivia. Oh, I could use that topic for trivia. I'm right, and I'm writing yeah. it down because I what to look for. And that's how I said I volunteered so quickly for the bonus because I was reading something and found the topic and I said, what a great bonus round that would make. And then he asked for a bonus round today. So I was all set. I haven't done it yet, but I know it'll be a great one. Hey, Peggy, did you get yeah. your wine? Did you oh, get thank your... you, Jane. I sent you a message. Oh, okay. I did. Thank you so much. Well, thank um, you. 
my message pointed out that we're not supposed to take any gifts or we can get fired. So I'm going to consider it a, just a gift between trivia friends. Okay. And not a thank you. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> I don't want to get fired, but I don't want to give the wine back either. Okay. <laughs> Enjoy it. Yeah. Thank Hello. you. I was told that recording is in progress. Is that true? I think so. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yep. So did anybody join since uh, we first went to the breakout rooms? I don't think so. No, same. Not, yeah, there was 24 before and there's 24 okay, now. Okay, good. Yeah. So don't say any freaking swears. What? What? Recording in progress. Don't say any freaking swears. Okay. Isn't this HBO? Come on. <laughs> Netflix, say anything you want. Yeah. Oh, there is one show that I watched uh, called The Leftovers. Ooh. Full frontal that was, nudity. That was good. Is it, is it a cooking show? <laughs> Definitely not. No. Well, they were. They were. Sounds like they might have been cooking though. Yeah. Oh, unfortunately, there was also full frontal nudity in the new Kids in the Hall show. Oh, oh that was. Uh, I don't. I don't need to see the kids in the hall naked. <laughs> that was funny yeah. though <laughs> all right shall we start let's yeah. do that so sorry susan you're not here uh, it's really weird having you not even as a player never mind not running it is she uh, going to show up I'm she, no up? i don't think so but i'm sure she'll watch it at some point to see how how we did um so this is game 109 season two episode 52 Yep. Whoa, that means it's going to be season three next time, I guess. Mm, yeah, huh? Yeah. You know what we should do? You know what we should do? We should talk to Susan the whole night and then make sure she watches the video at some point. You can, you can feel free. <laughs> okay, Susan, so here are the team names. Okay, team one, Gail, Carl, Ron, and Terry. What name are you? Due to statutory limits on punitive points, we can only score 10 points around. <laughs> punitive <laughs> points. We, okay. Yeah. okay. That's, that's a Johnny Depp Amber Heard reference. I, oh, fourth million. Okay. I don't know what that means because I haven't been following the trial. I know he was awarded money and she was awarded money and he was awarded more money than she did. So technically he wins something like that. Is her Except that he, she probably doesn't have any money. So he'll probably pay her and she won't pay him. <laughs> <laughs> and right. he would, oh, he'll he take her to court. More money than he can actually, and repeat. they'll probably appeal or something. He'll, he'll take, her to he'll bank he'll, he'll take the two million his wife's getting from his lawyer. Mm. <laughs> okay, team number two, which is Caspian. Hello, Caspian. Uh, James, Jim, and Vincent. What name are you going to go by? I thought oh. we were number three. Yeah, I think <laughs> we're number two. No, you're number three, correct. I, I said it out of order. All right, team three. What is your name, team three? Well, continuing on a thread, uh, we our name is, uh, we slept through the, I slept through the trial of the century. <laughs> <laughs> Take that, Susan. <laughs> Me too. What do you think of that, Susan? You're putting it in you, the chat. You missed the second half, which Put is, in the and all was this lousy t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, I still remember the trial, the actual trial of the century, which was the OJ thing. That, that was last century. Last century. That was last century. Yeah. Oh, so so are we counting that only in the, in the in the second decade of the century? We're going to call it the trial. Of, so I guess it's the trial so far of the century. Well, Trump's already the worst president this century. Uh, and maybe maybe, maybe, any, maybe, any, maybe any any other one. Of any century. Or of any century. Yeah. Or forty percent of the people think he's the best. So that's kind of scary. Well, oh. that's too bad for them. All right, yeah, team. Scary. The, the team I missed, uh, team two, uh, Jamie, Janine, and Karen. Uh, you're uh, only you're the shortest team right now. If someone else joins, we are the Peach Tree Dishes Meetup. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> so, like the meetup, that was good. Yes, that was good. That oh. was good. Oh, okay. So me, I, I actually know what that what that Mar Marjorie no. Taylor Green strikes yeah. again. Yeah. Yeah. What? She does. what? What'd she say now? Peach what tree. did she peach, say? Peach tree, she peach tree dishes. Peach tree dishes, yes. And she's from Atlanta. Oh, so. but, but it's more than that, uh, Rob. She's taught she's warning people about 
the, this uh, Bill Gates created fake yes. meats that he's growing in a peach tree dishes. Yes. And, and, that, and that people, they're going to want to know when you eat and when you have bowel movements, oh my don't God. trust the government. Does, yeah. does it work in concert with the chips in the vaccine? Is, is there some communication? Well, the, between the, yeah, there's there? chips in the meat. She says there's okay. stuff in the meat uh, that will okay. chip you. You mean those yeah. round peach tree dishes? That, yes. those? No, those, oh. those, exactly those. Yeah. Uh, guys, okay. guys, don't like work. we use in the lab. Don't I've had, worry. Don't you know, worry. I had, I've had three COVID shots, and I'm still not getting 5G internet through my tooth fillings. <laughs> uh, you guys, you guys don't have I'll to worry. Take your money back. <laughs> you don't have to worry. We've still got the Jewish laser from space with the take. That's it. right. Yeah, That's really true. Don't worry about it. There We're just also, waiting for the right moment. There were also Italian space lasers, by the way. This was an older conspiracy theory, which just surfaced uh, redo. Yeah. Ooh. Italian space lasers. Uh, Alan, Deborah, Larry, Wendy, and me. What what are we? We're something about we're, silver, we're, silver hair, yeah. or something like that? Uh, gray wolves. Gray wolves. Okay. Is that G R A Y or E Y? I'm always confused. I don't know. I wrote it in the U.S. E in England. Yeah, I wrote it with an E. I like E better. It flows e. off the pen. <laughs> As long as you pronunciate it correctly. Uh, are you guys saying you're old? <laughs> Basically, yeah. All right. And we have the team five Ben, Bob, Jane, Kerrigan, and Kevin. So, since we mostly talked about food, we're um, pork fried rice. <laughs> okay. I like that. Roast pork fried rice. The question is, is the pork real or is it from a pig or is it from a petri dish? Mm -hmm. Petri yeah. dish, it's, yes. Petri dish. It's real. It's pork chops. Ah. ah. I was Ooh. making that when we picked our team name. That yeah. Was okay. So to summarize for game 109, season two, episode 52, the teams are yeah. due to statutory limits on punitive points. We can only score 10 points around. <coughs> If, if this game goes very late, it's all because of that team name. The second team is the Peach Tree Dishes Meetup. Third is I Slept Through the Trial of the Century. And then we have the Gray Wolves and Pork Fried Rice. Okie dokie. Yeah. All right, so we're ready for yeah. round one. And Peggy is doing the whole kit and caboodle tonight. You guys are going to hate me five times more than usual. Uh oh, <laughs> oh, we don't see it. Um, Peggy, so... We forgave you for killing Betty White, so I don't think that's Oh, wow, that is, that is true. I don't think I can kill anybody tonight, but you never know. The list, yeah. There is a long list. Can I, can I just explain this to my baby brother? Uh, Peggy killed Betty White, because what do we do? We, we talked about, we asked if she, if she was still alive. Mm -hmm. and, and, and she died she the next day. As of right now, she is. The next day. Right, yep. So last time I checked. Yep. And yeah. then we did it again. With somebody else the next week. Also Still dead. Dead. Uh, who's mutings? Susan? And uh, and Fr and General Francisco Fa Franco is still dead. Still dead, yes. Still dead. Oh yeah. <laughs> so after we hear the category, I will mute people. Rob will be the mutor. You will be the mutees, as will I, and I'll have to remember to unmute. Yes. So the category, the first category is all about chocolate. And that's Ooh. why I have a chocolate river in my background. Oh, that's tasty. Okay, muting everybody. Mm. Three, two, one. All righty then. Question number one. What continent grows the most chocolate? Cacao plants, basically. And number two is... Copy, come back here, put it in the chat. I'll get faster if I'm doing five of them. Okay, this one is what country consumes the most chocolate per person? And I have four choices for you. Belgium, the United States, Switzerland, or Ireland? Number three is is that a per capita answer? Per just... person. It says per person in the question. Per... Oh, okay, my mistake, sorry. I think it does anyway. If it didn't come through, I apologize. It does. 
it was meant to have anyway. All right, so number, whatever number, this is three. Three is what is the only United States state to produce cacao beans to make chocolate? Number four is, back to the chat, Ooh, here we are, you're already here. Does white chocolate have any, contain any caffeine? B. Type message, paste. Um, in 65, in 1657, the first chocolate shop, also known as the Chocolate House, opened in what city? And did the cities come through on the chat? No, okay. We'll get you the cities. So there's your choices, Vienna, Amsterdam, London, or all of the above. This may have a West Coast bias, but you probably know it. What well-known San Francisco chocolate producer started in 1849 selling supplies during the gold rush? If you visited San Francisco, you probably went there. Copy and paste. And now we have 1900 was the year in which what iconic and continually popular American candy bar was first marketed. What mountain appears on the package of a Toblerone bar? What ancient civilization used chocolate as currency? And finally, we have a true or false, which I am screwing up here. According to WebMD, chocolate is considered by dermatologists to aggravate or cause acne. True or false questions. So that's all 10. Any questions before we're sending you off? Hi, Jim, with Jane. Uh, the last question, would that be, does it, uh, does, do they specify dark or milk or just chocolate? Just chocolate. Okay. No other questions. Very good. All right. Go to your rooms. Let's see. Why can't I see this thing that says open rooms? I'll do it. There we go. Okay. Did you get it? Yeah, you got it. Yep. So you're going to hang out here or you're going to visit each room? I'm going to go to each room after people settle in a little bit. Right. Okay, I'm going. I don't want to hear them say, what a stupid category. <laughs> I want him to get beyond that. Could be, who could be against a chocolate category? I'm surprised we haven't done this, actually. I know okay. I've had this one for months, too. Cool. All righty. I'm going to go get a chocolate bar before I uh, join the room. <laughs> That's what I need to do, too.
What a good puppy. Huh.
Yeah, we were talking about the macadamias. You know who owns a huge macadamia farm in Hawaii? Ro Roseanne Barr. Oh. Yeah, she bought one and wanted to retire there and make money. She's not making too much money with it, but she is making some money with it. She, I think she said she overpaid for it because she really wanted it. Did everybody get hungry? Yes, I'm hungry. I want chocolate. I kind of do. Well, now I want chocolate. I mean, after we're talking about it. But... Yeah. Right, exactly. Yeah. Let's see. First, I wanted pork fried rice. Now I want chocolate. Yeah. I can easily go to the store and get chocolate afterwards. There's a gas station by here that's open 24 hours. So. I might have a piece of chocolate in the other room if my wife didn't find oh, it. Gee, I, I do have some chocolate chips, but uh, I, I usually cook them into cookies. Uh, they do in a pinch, Jim. You can just eat them and they taste like chocolate. Yep. <laughs> yeah, well, that is true. Mm -hmm. I have chocolate mint Kit Kats. When I was a kid, I, I ate a beef bouillon cube because I thought it was my mother's chocolate. It oh. was not good at all. Oh, that must be <laughs> <good>. <laughs> Salty. Ooh. I thought it was chocolate. Yeah. I just opened it up and put it in. Oh. Yeah. I tried baking. I tried baking cocoa because I was like, "Oh, it's chocolate." Yep, put it in the yeah. milk and it doesn't mix. Oh, yeah. my! Uh, my kid went to a birthday party. This was years ago, and they sent home, you know, a, a favor bag or whatever. And there were, I forget, it was in the shape of a car or something, and thought it was chocolate. And they took a bite out of it, and it was soap. Like who sends kids <laughs> home with soap? Wow, soap. <laughs> as, as a April Fool. That just seems so silly to me. It could have been a mistake. Yeah. Oh, that's 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 the old trick. When when I was a kid and I spoke bad, my mother would wash my mouth out with soap. Yep. And so um, on the back of National Geographic, for like a dollar, you could buy soap, which is actually white chocolate. And so uh. I put, I bought. I put it in the bathroom and I intentionally swore at my mother. And, uh, <laughs> That's funny. I remember that she grabbed the bar of soap, put it in my mouth, and I ate it, and she couldn't believe it. <laughs> it down. I bought a, a, a gift for a friend that was a chocolate um, Statue of Liberty when we were in New York. It was a gift, and we brought it back on the plane, and they gave it to her, and she opened it up, and I was disappointed. She wasn't even pleased. She just sort of looked at it. And then I looked to see what she was looking at, and the whole thing had melted. It was just a puddle. Oh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> well, very, very often when you get one of those like marshmallow, you know, chocolate covered marshmallow Santas or Easter Bunny or whatever, yeah, it's hard to tell what it really was. <laughs> it's just a melted blob. Well, my, my dad the, was. The outside of the package looks like the thing, but the thing does not look like the thing. My, my dad was a wholesale grocer, and one of the sales guys from some company or another gave him a whole big thing filled with all these different chocolates and so he brought it home to us and we opened it up and i don't quite understand what the story was but they all had wood inside so there were no chocolates mm -hmm. it was just it was Ooh. just the wrappers and they all just had oh. all these yes yeah, so it, <laughs> it was very display, display very tor display. torture i think it's abuse a ab child abuse all right, Peggy, Good. give us the bad news. Are we ready? Okay, number Whoever one. Whoever gave what? it to you, Alan, was a shoplifter. <laughs> <laughs> what continent grows the most chocolate? This was a good conversation you guys were having. The answer is Africa. <gasps> oh, oh no. really? Oh, jeez. That's what the internet told me. I got it right. Run first. Number two, what country consumes the most chocolate per person? And that answer is Switzerland at 18.1 oh, pounds I per knew year. it was Switzerland, but they swore up and down it was something else. And it's like, Didn't swear right. up and down. We just was leaning that way. Yeah. Oh, we they chose. were swearing up and down. They would have had their mouth washed out with soap. That's oh, right. well. <laughs> okay, white chocolate. chocolate. I'm just using that as an expression, but oh, well. Number three, what is the only U.S. state to produce cacao beans to make chocolate? And that answer is Hawaii. Okay, hey. so we got one right. Got one right. 
<laughs> and Wendy. number four, I love this conversation. White chocolate basically isn't chocolate. Does white chocolate contain any caffeine? The answer is no, because it isn't really chocolate. That's and, and we right. all agreed on that part too that it's not chocolate. Yeah. It's not chocolate. It's good, but it's not chocolate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And in 1657, the first chocolate shop opened in what city? Rob pointed out that D is a stupid answer, and it isn't the answer. The answer is London in 1657. I, I tried to say for London, but no. Okay. I, I know Amsterdam makes more sense in your head for some reason. I don't know why, mm -hmm. but, the, but, but it was London. Yeah. And the well-known well San Francisco chocolate producer is Ghirardelli. And I yeah. hope that uh, you all had at least one West Coast person on your team. But I know a lot of people got that one. Um, 1900 was the year in which the iconic and continually popular American candy bar, the Hershey bar. All right. Hey. I think everybody got that oh. one. And you guys oh. did good on this next one. What mountain appears on the Toblerone bar? And that is the Matterhorn. Hey. Yeah. And what ancient civilization used chocolate as currency? The answer I got in my research was the Mayans. Oh, uh, I almost said it right. <laughs> if you find something that says that they also used it, the Incans used it, or somebody else used it, then let me know. But that's what I. My researched. piece of paper, my answer. <laughs> yeah. well -researched answer. Actually, I learned that when I was a child that the Mayans used chocolate as. Uh, and according to WebND, chocolate is not considered to cause or aggravate acne. It is unrelated, and they just told us that to keep us from eating chocolate. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. It makes other things break out, yeah. but not. I'm going to post all the answers together now. My theory was that chocolate is Mayan. You can't have it. It's Mayan. Everybody <laughs> 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 laughed, but we didn't. We went with another one, so. So the Wikipedia we, thing. Yeah, we, we, the Aztecs used it as currency also. Yeah, yeah. Wikipedia that was the answer I had. Yeah, we I made Aztecs of ourselves. I just what put modern in the civilization link. used it as currency. The American oh. soldiers in the during the Berlin, Berlin airlift. Wait, wait, wait. So are we changing number nine? <laughs> it says <laughs> we didn't get it right either. Ancient it says ancient civilization. It yeah, Aztecs, Aztecs. Aztecs would be. Yeah. yeah. So but, of course, did of they, course use they would have gotten okay. the idea from the Mayans. Did you did you discover in your research that they used it as as currency? Actually, I yeah. Yeah. that was our answer. But I, when, I, when I heard your answer, I realized it was wrong. The Aztecs were obsessed with chocolate, but it was only for example. The they highest quoted, highest quoting highest Wikipedia, highest. the Aztecs used a system in which one turkey cost one hundred cocoa beans and one fresh avocado was worth three beans. There you go. <laughs> yeah, they traded the beans as money. Well, and if you're talking ancient, you talk to any of our kids. Oh, we're all we're all ancient. <laughs> yeah, oh, ancient. I, I will accept Aztec if there's yes. research. Wait, wait, wait. Chocolate is different than the cacao beans. Mm. It's a refined. It's a product that is made from the cacao with with sweetener mm. and so forth. Well, do it we, didn't we, we it. No, might have been sweetened. I don't think the Mayans it did either. What is milk? What is what is milk chocolate hard. made from? Milk chocolate is not made then from. I will accept but, Aztec. Chocolate with a Thank lot of you, sugar. Peggy. Oh, Peggy. milk. Obvious, okay, so obviously, got, it's okay. milk with it in, in there. Thank you, Peggy. So we got seven. Ha, ha, ha. That was the most <laughs> so now, yeah, do scores. So, topic uh, of that this so, game ever had. <laughs> I get eight for our team. The sweetest one, anyway. All right. right. Hold on a minute. I'm, I'm updating it. So I'm going to put in the answers uh, Mayans and Aztecs. Um, for, okay, for well, I'm going to look up the Incas then. <laughs> Don't forget the Toltecs. And the Olmecs. And the Olmecs. Okay. <laughs> if you use that as an answer, I would be shocked. But... <laughs> okay, so here we go. Um, due to statutory limits on punitive points, we can only score 10 points a round. Well, we actually only scored nine. Oh, Carl, gosh. But oh, you're in the lead. The peach tree dishes meet up. Five. What? Five. Five. I slept through the trial of the century. And yes, in fact, I did. Okay. Eight. Eight. Yes, eight. <laughs> and uh, my team, what did we get? Gray wolves. Seven. 
pork fried rice. Six. All right, we got five, this six, seven, that we eight, get. and nine. Wow. Yeah. This coming in that we get on our team. Okay. I, I don't Having see anybody a, coming in. Susan, 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 Susan. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Did somebody come in? I don't think so. No. Nope. No, I, I was just hoping. Oh, right. <laughs> just <laughs> another brain. Not yet. Okay, so we're ready for round two, Peggy. What do you have in store for us? For round two, we have um, another food category, and it's cheese. Ooh. Mm. Ooh. That's so I'm thing. making you all very hungry today. Mm. That's a good thing. I just had dinner. I have to find it. So where are you, cheese? What cheese is made out of chocolate? <laughs> That's the uh, third category. Cheesecake. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. Chocolate cheese cake. Mm -hmm. There's this sacred sacred cheese in certain cultures. It's called Jesus Christ. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, Jesus. oh Jesus. Let's all get right. it all out. You have heard Please. of the new uh, cheese factory in Israel, Jesus of Nazareth. Oh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Also, chocolate. Peggy, you're muted. Unmute yourself. Excellent work. Okay, question number one, what country produces the most cheese in total tons? This is a total ton. Am I muted? I'm not muted. No, Where are you not getting? You. There you are, okay. Now I have to get back to my questions. Question number two is, Name one of the two cheeses commonly used in a classic Swiss fondue recipe. And the answer is not gonna be Swiss cheese. Number three is the earliest archeological evidence of cheese making dates back to which estimated year? 8,000 BCE, 5,500 BCE, 3509 BCE or 1000 BCE. Question number four is, the most expensive cheese in the world, which is called Pule, P-U-L-E, comes from the milk of endangered Balkan donkeys native to Serbia and Montenegro. How much does it cost per pound in US dollars and for this, you get a plus or minus 50 bucks. Wait, did you say Vulcan donkeys? What? Balkan donkeys. Not Vulcan donkeys. Oh, oh sorry. They're not green. <laughs> no, only their blood is green. Yeah. And they do have big ears, though. That's true. <laughs> All right. So this is uh, number five, according to tasteatlas.com. What cheese is the most popular variety in the world? All right, and number six is, is any cheddar cheese naturally orange? Number seven, what dish is made of fries, cheese curds, and gravy? Oops, where'd you go? Oh, sorry, mm -hmm. I screwed up somehow. Where are you? That's not you, I lost you, I lost my cheese. There you are. This next one is a little gross and might be triggering for some of you who don't like insects. I did it anyway. Paste. Okay, the Sardinian cheap sheep's cheese called Casa Marzu, Casu Marzu is made by allowing flies to lay eggs in what kind of cheese? By the time it is ready to be consumed, the cheese will contain thousands of maggots. Oh my God. 
And you got some choices there. Parmesan, Pecorino, Gorgonzola, or Mazithra. Number nine, what kind of cheese would you need to make Peggy's favorite dessert, which is tiramisu? Oh, come on, number 10, come on. Here we go. Nope, nope, nope. Sorry, I'm having a technical difficulty with number 10. Here we go. Number 10 is, according to World Atlas, what country consumes the most cheese per capita? France, Italy, Germany, or Denmark? And we have a bonus question. And the bonus question is, according to the Monty Python cheese shop sketch, what is claimed to be the most popular cheese in the world? And it's a different answer from the previous popular cheese answer, by the way. That should help. All right, any questions? Um, so I have a pedantic question about number one. Why, why would you put tons? So it's any any weight measurement. You just mean by weight. It, the answer that was given in the in the source was by tons. Yeah, but okay. it doesn't change the answer. It doesn't matter. It could be in ounces, and it would still be right. More. So okay, okay. It's by weight rather than by volume, anyway. Yeah. Okay. Right. All right, y'all ready? All right, go to our rooms. Go get more hungry.
My guess is the next round will be about food too. We should Excellent. No, no Dutch cheese. Have you ever uh, have you ever eaten Dutch cheese? They have cumin seeds in their cheese. It's I've gross. eaten the one with caraway in it, and um, you know, eat them. I've had eat them. Everybody, does anybody begging for more time? No. Nope. Nope. I appreciate that. Thanks, guys. It was almost as much fun as the chocolate. Yeah, yeah. it wasn't as much fun when I was observing, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, lot. we like chocolate. But I'm having a good time with uh, matching whatever you said. I had raisinets for the first round and goldfish cheddar for the second. So I'm wondering what the third food's going to be. I have to go. Back. Oh, you'll be disappointed. Oh. <laughs> Foods. Well, depending on how you look at it. Is there a theme? Is there a theme? For the for the, the each round, just, just for the first half, it was food. For the second half, it's not. Awesome. What are we in? Are we oh, we're still in the first half. Okay, the second half is going to be what wine goes with what cheese. <laughs> <laughs> what wine goes with, uh, no more wine. What wine goes with Captain Crunch. Yeah. Yeah, but Peggy, you, you don't know what I will and will not eat. So <laughs> I, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, it could be. You might be interested in eating. The next Something category. The third category. Yeah. Okay, so what are the answers for round two, Peg? You can all see the screen with the cheese trivia, right? Yeah. yeah. Number one is the United States. Yes. Yeah. yes. Right. So are you going to put these answers also in a, in a chat somehow? I will. Somehow? I'll come back and put them in the okay, chat good. after I show off my fancy pictures. Cool. Um, wait, 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 wait. Can, two, I see, can I see that chart again? Can I see that chart again? So is that is that accurate by that? The, the, is it blue? Because that's you. That's the U.S. and it's almost half. Wow. So it's not close. Who's red? Who's so the, red is red is the U.S. Red is blue. U.S. But, but blue. blue is all the nations of the EU. Oh. Right. Oh. Blue is not a country. Oh. Blue is a bunch of countries. Oh, I can't Sorry. read it from here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. If you now if now if you if you were going by per, per capita, the United States probably wouldn't be. <laughs> we're not going to win that one. No. Yeah. So these are the classic yeah. ingredients in the classic Swiss fondue. Is these are Gruyere or Emmentaler? Take either one. Mm. Oh, yeah. Number three is fifty five hundred. Yes. Oh, All right. Oh. That was kind of a crapshoot for you. Yeah, I was. Uh, I was thinking uh, uh, cheese would be about as old as the domestication of cattle, which I thought was probably <laughs> going back. Yeah, to and remember, stuff. this is archaeological evidence, right. so no doubt it did exist. Prior there may be. Prior to that, yeah. but yeah. okay. This is the weird poule cheese, which is six hundred dollars oh. per pound. Oh, well, well. five fifty to six fifty. Oh. We were oh. close. That we were is not a Balkan donkey. It's just a donkey I took a picture of in England and really loved that picture. So <laughs> he's got eyebrows. Oh, he might have been a Balkan darling. donkey. Got lost. Hey, donkey. So cute. Yeah, Aww. maybe he is Balkan. What do I know? He's eating the cheese. <laughs> Number five, the most the the most popular cheese in the world. Uh, mozzarella. Uh, mozzarella. Uh, Oh, sorry, Somebody was saying this. I think Ben was saying this in in the room because pizza. But you know, yeah, changes it changes everything. There's there's no naturally <laughs> orange cheddar. Yay! It's yeah, colored it. usually with right. annatto seeds or something else. And I can't. There was some reason why. And it's so long since I did this category. I don't remember mm. what the reason was. But okay, Canadians. Everybody knew this one, right? right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, Good. I look so disgusting. Actually, I can't tell you. It's also called heart attack on a plate. Yeah. It but is. that one has mushrooms. Yeah, I could do without the mushrooms. Oh, I the will other try one. that sometime. Well, isn't, isn't that the, Carl, Carl, isn't that the word that the Jawas shout out in, in episode four? <laughs> so the, the Russian dictator cheese. The cheese with the creepy little larva in it is pecorino. No, that's, that's like one of the nicest pictures I could find of it. Some of the pictures are just disgusting. Well, now I know what cheese to stay the hell away but from. But then what happens? <laughs> they just die? I mean, what happens to the maggots? You know, the you, you, you eat they them. go to a far better place. Hey you guys, eat them for the protein. Not, have they you the Do you stop? Do you stop and think where milk comes from? And all that stuff. I mean, what's the difference? You it's know? all gross. It's a big difference. <laughs> that's, that's gross. I'm not eating that cheese. Can you buy it in the United States? Yeah. I, I don't, I doubt uh, you can. I doubt no. that they can in, import it. 
The maggots no, are optional. Can. Maggots yeah, are we've optional. Had, we've had pecorino here before. I don't recall oh, yeah. seeing any maggots. No, pecorino yeah, but, is not the cheese. It's kasu marzu is the cheese that has the extra added Pecorino maggots. is the feedstock to make it. Right. And pecorino, you can get all kinds of places and it's delicious. Okay. And tiramisu is mascarpone. <clears throat> yes. Yes. Mm, Thank you, Wendy. <laughs> I know some people got mm. that because they've probably cooked it or certainly eaten it. This one, no, I don't think anybody got Denmark. Did anybody guess Denmark? No. 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 Right. I, I it was in our top four, but. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's good. And then finally, yeah. the last one is a cheddar. Oh, yeah. no. I didn't come up with a, a slide for that. Sorry. Yeah. You you're not going to play the whole cheese uh, shop skit? Well, somebody <laughs> sure should. And go back to the maggots, yeah. please. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, you're talking about maggots. <laughs> All right, here's the maggots. Okay, it says pecorino. No, the that's answer the is pecorino. The question was, gave you the title of the cheese that's a different title than pecorino. What? It's made from pecorino. Was, what cheese do they use to make this god awful cheese? From? Oh, okay, good. Oh, good. So not all pecorino has. The, okay, no, no they take pecorino, pecorino and they add maggots to make so the other one. So it's maggots, maggot cheese. Thank you. Oh, uh, but you can eat pecorino. You will never see maggots in pecorino oh, on Wait, well, purpose. Oh, is that maggots or maggots? <laughs> Got it. <laughs> never. Got it. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> if you see maggots in Pecorino, that's a problem. Yeah. I'm so sorry. About don't, 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 don't believe what the waiter tells you that they're supposed to be there. Is it, is yeah. it a problem or is it an opportunity? There you go. Extra protein. Waiter, my cheese is walking away. Oh. Okay. Do you, do you okay, Peggy. Do for... your uh, answers in chat? In chat oh, yeah. Hang on. Sorry. I, I promised to, I did not deliver. I have to put it in Susan's file where she will uh, yell at me when she gets back. He'll fire you. Oh, no. Imagine if you're oh, eating in a oh. restaurant. You say, waiter, there's a fly in my soup. Well, I'll bring you a fresh bowl. He goes, no, nah, forget it. Just bring me some cheese with maggots in it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It looks I like the fly is doing the backstroke. What's this I am so sorry team? to my team. I had answers and they were wrong. So if we all did, then oh, Vincent, Vincent, it happens, happens to all of us. Yeah. So, we uh, all do that. Is this the in one, one episode of uh, of All in the Family, Edith makes Archie a, a, a tongue sandwich, and he says, "I don't want that. Nothing from an animal's mouth. Now make me an egg salad like I always have." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Peggy, I got up to nine there. It's coming. <sighs> so that answer to ten kind of tells you the other uh, countries. So one through, what? so it's Denmark, Iceland, what? Finland, the the top cheese eaters. Oh. Hmm. With the, with how many pounds per year, which is incredible to me, but. And I love cheese, and that's and we're not even on there. Yeah, I always have cheese in my refrigerator. You no, know, if Donald Trump were yeah. reelected, he would fix that. Yeah, you know why? We because we would make America great with cheese again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, make America people, great in cheese. A lot of people use uh, call American cheese, which is not cheese. It's American cheese product, right? It's colored right. oil with flavors and. You know, it's not cheese. Thickeners. There's a lot of that in the U.S., so maybe that um, gives us a false idea of how much cheese we do eat. Yeah, and oh, all the pizza it's not cheese, though. Because it's not cheese. The cheese I think like it's the pizza. I think same with that. Same with that glop that they put on nachos. Pizza. You can yeah, Velveeta, not it's cheese. An oh. Edible and edible oil products. It's yeah. edible it's cheese. Velveeta isn't even cheese tangent. It's just no. <laughs> we had we had some Velveeta like 
we took fishing with us one time and we put and we left it in the tackle box it was one of those ones that had those oh. little plastic things around it and i forgot it was in there and like a year later i opened it up and the cheese was still fine or whatever the hell it was <laughs> it was still soft it was <laughs> dead mildew condition. nothing had happened yeah it was in its original condition uh, yeah but they no tried to put maggots in it but the maggots wouldn't the go maggots in. <laughs> no the fly goes oh no so you couldn't not. even use it to raise bait no <laughs> We were trying to use it for chum, but I don't think it worked. Oh boy. Okay. So uh scores. Let's see. Where's the screen? Here we go. Share the screen. Okay. Let's start with the peach tree dishes meetup. What did you guys get? Seven. Oh, good job. Better. So seven. You're in first. We have a new leader. Uh then let's go to the pork fried rice team. Nine. Ooh. Oh, well, any chance you could make that a little bit larger, Rob? Mm. For those of us with little screens, I don't even see it. Is it there? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a problem. That's much better, though. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, gray wolves. What do we get? Uh, five. Oh. I know. Uh, uh, for a second, though. <laughs> I slept through the trial of the century. Four. Oh, oh. yeah, we oh, did do well. Wow. Oh, we've got quite the tie going here. Yes, and indeed. due to statutory limits, dot dot dot. Uh, despite our name, we got seven. seven. Still mm. in the lead, though. Still in the lead. One though, point. Yeah. It's close. So oh, a four-way tie well. for it's so a three-way tie for last place. Huh? Yes. <laughs> I don't know about no. you. We're tied for third. Three way yeah. tie for third. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Um, I just want to say pork fried rice. We'll accept thoughts and prayers. Too. I'll lose. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, third is a podium finish. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. That's right. Bronze. Okay. So who's going to take the picture for Susan? Let's see. Uh, I think there's a few enough people I can do it. It's all on one screen. Yes. Okay. I'll do it. Okay. Karen, so. what are you doing? Karen. Okay, here we go. Right, Everybody no. ready? Everybody, no, no, Deborah, go, go. Deborah's going. I'm not, I just want to turn the light off because it was, it was annoying me. I'm putting on a mustache. No one will recognize me. Too. Oh, you, you look like Jim Carrey in uh, Sonic. Okay, <laughs> uh, which I just watched. All right, three, two, and one. Take a picture now. Cheese. Cheese. Yeah, cheese. Or <laughs> chocolate. Maggot. Or maggot, yeah. Oh, <laughs> maggot. That'll bring a smile. <laughs> and there's no more food, by the way. It's done. Oh. Now it's time for oh. beverages. Oh. Now we'll break you break and get some cheese, cheese, and cheese and chocolate. Wait, wait, wait. Let me just make sure the wine goes good out. with chocolate cheese. Caspian doesn't have a picture. Why uh, does Caspian never does? He's a mystery man today. He the cats. Now. Okay. She, she, she knows what he looks like. Okay, break time. Five minutes. Five minutes. Okay, you want to have a battle there? Carl, Carl, look at the chat I just sent you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, geez. You're, you're right. Rob, oh, hey. Rob's on already. I guess I'll. You're right. Hey, wait, I still have my headphones on. What's up? We, we, we had eight, not seven. Oh, no, too late. Can't change the score now. I screwed up, but I only counted the wrong ones and forgot that we had a bonus question. Yeah, I thought we had one more no. than that. Okay. All right, so team uh, due to statutory limits has eight. Is that what we're saying? Yeah, no, no yeah. changes after we've gone to break. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> we haven't gone yet. Uh, Ronnie, yeah, Ron, uh, you hanging around for another round? Break yeah, I'll stay down. for one more. Yeah, last week we had 10. And what? Okay, I'm signing off. Uh, see you next week. No, Me too. Probably, probably two. No, it's wait a minute. Bye, next, everyone. next week, I've got something Bye, else. Bye, Terry. Bye, Miss Butterworth. Bye. Hi, Kim. You know, I, I Ron, the was when we were at Youngins, was poutine a thing? I no. actually do not remember it. No, I all. never heard of it until I started going to Nova Scotia as an adult. Yeah, and and uh, and but it's mainly when Quebec, I was in Quebec. But, it's but Quebec when I was in, in, no, in, in the Maritimes is but where it's even really when big. I was in Quebec, it, it wasn't a thing. You, you know, I never, I never yummy? saw it. That's what matters. Oh, it's, it looks like it looks. I gross. think it came oh, yeah. from there because I thought of it. I didn't know it was Canadian at all. 
Well, I, I may have gone from New there, but, it, but I think it's it's a, but it's a new it's it's sort of a newish thing because Gucci. it may have been around, but it wasn't it wasn't a thing. You didn't go. Nineteen sixty four. It was invented. Yeah. All right. Okay. So it's taken a while. Right. It, it came from it came from New Orleans area. The Cajuns who started in Quebec and went there, right? Yeah. Could be. Could be. Really good with I, maggots too. Yeah. yeah. All Maybe I know it, is uh, no, no mushrooms. No, thank you. No. And I apologize to my team because I checked my recipes. Of mascarpone cheese is actually part of the recipe. <laughs> well, there you go. Larry, did you say ricotta? No. <laughs> we, we almost said ricotta due to my wrong answer. Ricotta? Isn't it ricotta? No. <laughs> <laughs> It depends. In Italian, it's ricotta. Rico oh, that would In English, be. it's ricotta. Ricotta. I thought, I thought it was ricotta. Oh, yeah, you're right. It's a cough drop. It's a, it's a cheese cough drop. That's ricola. That's Switzerland, Ben. Yeah. Ricola. <laughs> so did you did you watch Strange New Worlds already, Carl, or no? Yes. Yeah. I watched it in on in anticipation of Rob having watched it so we could talk about it, and he hasn't watched it. Oh, fired. Well, was it any better than the uh, Blues Brothers? <laughs> the new Strange New Worlds was really good. Yep. Did you like uh, Did you like this week, Carl? I did, even it's though it featured a science fiction cliche trope that I'm not a huge fan of. Yeah. Without spoiling anything for anyone. I, I think I know what you're referring to. For some reason, I can't paste the recipe into the chat. So. And, and I did have a minor complaint of that's not fly fishing and those aren't that you don't keep lures like that on your hat usually. Right. Yeah, I think they were just trying to be silly, I guess. I'm waiting this for was the, definitely to come the most silly episode of all of them. Yes. I would say I enjoyed the episode, but uh, probably, I mean, they're all good, but it's my least favorite episode so far. Okay. <laughs> of what are you talking about? What program? Range New Worlds. Right. That's, that's fair, Carl. I just found myself laughing through most of the episode, so I definitely yeah. enjoyed it, but yeah, it was, you know. It, it I, was I, odd, I mean, Star, Star Trek, classically, you have your silly episodes. Yeah. You enjoy them, and you don't take them as seriously as you take the other episodes. I mean, Spock's brain, come on. Oh, wait, or was that supposed to be serious? <laughs> I think on Stranger Things, they nailed uh, the Russian uh, competence uh, soldiers uh, based on what's going on in Ukraine. So, <laughs> yeah, I, really, I enjoyed Stranger Things this season as well. Yeah. And, and now we know that uh, Eleven uh, did not kill all those children. You're ruining it for those who haven't no, seen no it yet. No spoilers, because people may not have watched it yet. You, you want to see some spoilers. more uh, interesting things about the competence of, of, of Russians? Watch the HBO Max documentary, Navalny. Oh, is it good? It's really, I, I really good. I watch it. I just, I get hung, like I fall asleep. Oh, I highly I'm recommend watching. it. It's really good, and in, in my opinion, about halfway in, it gets even more interesting. Like it's good and you're enjoying it, but halfway in you go, holy crap, this is some interesting stuff here. Sorry, Carl, it's could not... you repeat uh, what Netflix thing you're talking about? Uh, it's HBO Max. It's a documentary, Navalny, about the Russian opposition leader, Navalny, that the Russians tried to assassinate by poisoning him. Yeah, well, and it's heartbreaking because he has a family. He has yeah. a wife and daughter. And they, well, and, I mean, he's, he's a bold guy for going there in the first place and then eventually going back again. Right. Yeah. After uh, he recovered. I mean, going back after you've been, after there's been an attempted assassination is not necessarily a smart move. Well, I mean, well, he had to do it for his family. Yeah. Keep them alive. Yeah. I don't what you're think saying, though, Carl, is if it wasn't for the incompetency, they might have actually succeeded in one of their assassinations. Mm, no, uh, not not really. More like 
if it wasn't for certain type of incompetency, the, the investigative reporter would have never been able to prove absolutely conclusively oh, what yeah. he proved. Hmm. And, and uh, other something else happens in the documentary that i don't want to spoil okay our our book group uh studied a book from some uh uh businessman that was living in the ussr from the u.s and uh he realized that you know you can't actually uh, do anything mm. here and he exposed the fact that uh, the oligarchs uh, were uh, stealing money from the Russian people and uh, they raided his company and got the seals and everything else. And so they pretended to uh, launder all of the tax money that was supposed to go to the uh, Russian government. And uh, his lawyer was killed, and he decided that he was going to take on the oligarchs and uh, Putin. Who, and, the dead lawyer? No, uh, the dead lawyer's name was Magnitsky, and the book author's name is Bill Browder. Yes. Thank you. I, I couldn't remember all that stuff. But <laughs> <laughs> well, and, I'm uh, actually listening to a podcast right now about his... Uh, second is next book which is called freezing order it yes. just came out well so they have a they have a min, min, niski act, uh, niski act right? yeah yes. which essentially freezes any money that they can find that has been transferred from the oligarchs now the thing you got to realize is putin doesn't have any money his money is with the oligarchs so when any country freezes the oligarchs' money, they're freezing his money too. Yep. So that's that, true. That, that's the best way that the U.S. can uh, punish Russia uh, economically, because mm -hmm. they're also yeah, he, punishing Putin. So. Yeah, Browder, Browder, and some other people that were helping him got thirty-four countries to pass a Magnitsky Act. So there's not just the United States doing this. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, when Switzerland takes a stand, shit has gotten real. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's That's true. True. In the world, yeah. A lot of people have argued, well, we shouldn't be sanctioning the Russian citizens. They have no control of this. Uh, yeah, guess what? How are we going to do it with, without... In, uh, impacting the Russian citizens, who, by the way, are supporting Putin eighty percent. Well, because he, you know, he, they believe all the crap that he tells them. That, right. That's not true. I mean, it's it, it's real, really sad for them because they're being victimized too. Um, well, and how much I, are? Is it really eighty percent, or that's the, the numbers? Yeah, that that's the line, right? With no, that's what. Uh, Excuse me, comrade. Uh, we would like to know. This is a total anonymous survey. Yeah. We'd like to know if you support the. <laughs> yeah, action. exactly. Yeah. As as well, you see they, the red lasers on yeah. their shirt yeah, through exactly. their windows when they when they <laughs> take the call. Yeah. The most credible, <laughs> the most credible polling company there, as credible as it can be, uh, yeah. came up with that uh, d data. And, yeah, there's some uh, Western when Western journalists ask people and stuff. They say, "Oh yeah, he's great. He's great." But, well, do you ever do you ever watch the YouTube video? It's called 1420. It's a Russian journalist who goes around Moscow and St. Petersburg interviewing people on the streets. So if you type in 1420, like you know, Russia, um, mm -hmm. you'll see these interviews. And it's it's concerning because the majority of the Russians do very much um, support the, the war effort. They believe the Nazis um, have taken over Ukraine, that they're invading right. the motherland of Russia. It's, it's awful. Mm -hmm. I don't know how many tell you what, if, if I was living in Russia and somebody polled me, I don't think I would necessarily answer honestly what my thoughts were on Putin. Yeah, a camera or on this? radio or something? Because I, no, that's why um, you should watch this 1420 because it's, it's surprising how many people, you, you think that most people will be very timid to say the truth, what they believe in on the streets. You'd be surprised how many people on the streets will voice their opinion about the war and, and what they feel about Russia. 
But so. you know, but so many the, the thing is, so many of those people have family and mm-hmm. and and know people in Ukraine. So I mean, they 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 they've got to really kind of have some sense of what's going on. And apparently, they, apparently, the USSR is a an atheist country. Uh, but the mid minute right. they disappeared, you all realized that they were showing up as friend's house to uh, worship God. That's and, pathetic. Yeah. Well, see, actually, see, one of the one of the most yeah one of the most the worst abuses of Christianity is when the um, the Russian the head priest of the Russian Orthodox Church supports Putin, and yeah. he's all dressed up in his garb and he's standing next to Putin supporting the war effort. That's well, really that's disgusting normal for the Russian Orthodox Church. It's yeah. been yeah. essentially an organ of the state since Peter the Great. Mm-hmm. Yep. It is disgusting. Um, okay, so let's see. Do we have anybody who needs to make an announcement? It doesn't appear this week. We have any? Yeah. No podcast reps this week. Anybody? Anybody? No. Okay. All right. Let's move on to round three. Then, are you ready, Peggy? Ready. Is everybody? All right. Here's my background. What, it's what? Moby Dick, guys. Ooh. Oh. Dick. The book you may have or may not have read. Okay, muting everybody. Three, two, one. Question number one. What is the opening sentence of chapter one of the novel? And number two is copy go back here. What novel is this? Uh, the Moby Scarlet Dick. Letter. The Scarlet oh. Letter, James. Moby okay. Dick. <laughs> oh, okay. It was the Moby best of times, Dick. the worst of times. I... Okay, number two. What was the first mate's name that inspired the name of a giant global corporation? Gilligan. <laughs> oh, sorry. Don't want to give away the answer. Yeah, you're helping people here. Uh, number three, who portrayed Captain Ahab in the 1956 version, film version of Moby Dick? Helen Hale, the skipper. You're 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 really doing well. You're helping people. They're thinking of other things. Can we mute so we can just get to the questions? Thanks. And here we have number four. What does Ishmael cling to? in order to survive the sinking of the ship. And what was the name of the ship that was wrecked in 1820 that was part of the inspiration for Melville's tale? This is a real ship that inspired him. And we have six. Melville dedicated the novel to what prominent 19th century American author who wrote another great American novel? Number seven, the fire and brimstone sermon delivered by Father Mapple begins with what Old Testament story? Number eight, what is the name of Ahab's ship? Is it A, the Rosebud, B, the Rachel, C, the Pequod, or D, the Albatross? Number nine, in what year was Moby Dick first published? plus or minus two years. That's not good. Number 10 
is here. Who wrote the screenplay for the 1956 film? Was it A, John Huston, B, Ray Bradbury, C, Herman Mankiewicz, or D, Raymond Chandler? And I don't have a bonus. Okay, interesting. I certainly remember reading this book, but I was like six years old and I don't remember any of it. You didn't read it when you were six. I think I did. Really? All right. The answer to one of these questions can be gained from watching the movie Major League. Oh, okay. Ooh. All right, All right, everybody, go to your rooms. Good luck. You, you may have read the classic comic. Mm -hmm. uh, breakout room, someone? Breakout open. Rooms, breakout rooms. Oh, sorry. I have something to do, really? Here they are. Join. Join. Wait, I I wasn't given my breakout room. Oh dear. Um, let's I've see. Been having, I'm having trouble with my Wi-Fi, so I've been coming and going. Oh, you came and went, so you weren't on the list. Um, I I gotta go find Rob and see how he does that. So, what room oh, were you in? Five. Five. Okay. Then I have to go find a breakout room. Okay. And Rob is listed as Susan, so I have to find Susan. Yeah, I have to. I had to leave because um, I was having Wi-Fi issues. Damn it! I can't see the questions. <laughs> I accidentally left the meeting instead of going to the room. <laughs> oh, you're having the same problem. No, no, no. I was just. <laughs> uh, the host is open breakout rooms. Please wait to be assigned. I should be in room four. I'm just, I don't see anything to go to room I, four. I got my notice. Ah, thank you.
So is Cat's iPad a real person or just? Cat's iPad is, I think Bob's, Bob connects with two devices because one device he can't see the chat with. Ah, okay. So he uses a second device. Okay. Good, I can finish my crossword puzzle then. It's my goal to always see if I can finish the Friday New York Times puzzle during the intermission here. People having that much trouble with this one. Apparently.
Dad, did you try the broccoli grape salad? Yeah, I did. Was it good? Oh yeah, it was good. Do you any like the Waldorf salad? Yeah, I had a little more of that. I put some in Ryan's lunch. Oh, good. Yeah. I was paid to make the Waldorf salad. Had a lot of nuts in it. Yeah, it, I put the what the recipe called for. I mean, I eyeballed it. Garlic to taste. <laughs> we can do, we don't have to follow a recipe at Barb City Manor. We can start with a recipe, but you can kind of make it up from there. Like it's not like NIU at all. Yeah. Yeah. You can doctor just, stuff up. Yeah. You just avoid too much salt and sugar. Yeah. No salt. Um, no salt. No salt. Uh, okay. uh, what recipe are we talking about? <laughs> Walter salad. Sorry, what? Waldorf, it's apples, oh. walnuts, celery, and walnuts. <coughs> Sorry. celery and walnuts, and marshmallows. Grape house. Oh, I never put marshmallows in mine. The recipe where I work, you put marshmallows in it. It's for That's old weird. people, like really old people. Yeah, no my mom always, my mom always put marshmallows in. She used raisins yeah. too. Did they use Miracle Whip too? <laughs> yeah, Miracle Whip because it makes the salad less runny than mayonnaise. <laughs> have, okay, Peggy. Regional differences. We're all back. All right. Number one, call me Ishmael. Hey. I'm oh. going to put all these together. Number oh, two. Yeah. Number two is Starbuck. If you have Starbucks, that's okay. You got the idea. Fuck. God, don't worry with that at all. Number three is Gregory Peck. Hey. <laughs> Number four is Queequeg's coffin, oh. but you could just put coffin and that's okay. Number that's five. You get from the movie Major League. Yeah, so, Carl says it's in the Major League movie. So, so we have, a, we have, I have a question. We had a floating wooden container. Because we first oh. said casket and we wanted to hedge our bets if it was a oh. trunk too. Oh. Oh, you're you're thinking that. Titanic right there. You thought it was her clinging to that trunk at the end. No, no, no that wasn't were, a trunk. That was we a flat piece of wood. Okay, it's from two out of five. Coffin, but... tennis ball. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna take a vote. All in favor of taking that answer, say aye. Aye, 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 aye. All opposed to taking that answer, say no. No, 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 no. no, no. The nays have it. Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry I missed a little bit. Was it which one were you doing? Uh, number four was the Queequeg's was coffin. The oh, all right. Okay. We put a floating container, wooden container. Got it. All right. I thought maybe it could be a gone. cigar box. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, it could have been. Uh, number five is the Essex. Number six is Nathaniel Hawthorne. Oh, oh. oh. very good, Bob. Number seven is Jonah and the Whale. Yay, okay. <laughs> that makes Every sense. Every once right? in a while, I surprise myself. <laughs> Number the eight Bible is calls the it a large fish, not a whale. The Pequod is eight. Is that the cheese that has worms in it? <laughs> no, <laughs> maggots. It's maggots. It's Get the story. Far, 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 far. Not worms. Number nine. You get plus or minus two. It's eighteen fifty-one. Yes. Oh, shoot, oh, we're off like a shit. year. Sorry, Some Bob. Got close. We got plus or minus zero. All right. Sorry, Bob. You're so number, gross. Number ten. The writer was actually Ray Bradbury. It was oh, the only no. play from somebody <laughs> else's novel that he ever did. Wow. Really? John Houston actually directed that film. He did not write it. Wow. Did Ray Bradbury write it alone? Well, I don't. I doubt he was completely alone. If Houston was directing, that he probably got a lot of input. But he's the one given credit. <clears throat> wow! Wow! I love. I love that. Oh, I've seen documentaries I about Bradbury. I've never heard that mentioned. That is so weird. I don't think it was a happy experience for him, in all likelihood. Oh. So well, it was, it was no it was no less happy than trying to answer these questions. Oh. <laughs> well, I want to tell you that I have not read the book, and I knew 
probably five of these. Yeah, there you go. Just because it's part of culture. It's part of, you know. It's sort of a biblical kind of a book. You knew one more than I did, and I read the book. Thank you very much, Karen. (laughs) Uh, Okay, can can you uh, put those in the chat, Peggy? Oh, yes. And let's actually wait for you to do that. Is it worth reading? No. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's worth reading. It. It's very hard to read the whole thing. Watch the movie. Yeah, yeah it's watch so... the Do the, do the audio the, book. Read the classics illustrated. It was oh. much faster. A, a lot of the great books of the time are kind of slow burns. Yeah, it's yeah. it's very, very long. Like a lot of boring description in between interesting like, parts. The the, the Herms <sighs> uh, Abraham Stoker Dracula is a very long slow yeah. burn. Yep. Okay, let's go to the scores. So as was mentioned, we have a three-way tie for third place. This may break that up, maybe. <laughs> let's start with the Peach Tree Dishes Meetup. Eight. Oh my gosh. Mm, well good. done. Well done. I slept through the trial of the century. Seven. Well done. Well done. Gray wolves. I think we had three. No. <laughs> we had almost four because we we got um, a, a, a version of number one, but not quite yeah, perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Just so three, it, seriously? Just three? I know. What did you sorry. say? Oh. Call me Moby? Call me Nick. Call me. It. I said, my name is Ishmael instead of call me Ishmael. That's what I thought, but I got corrected. Uh-huh. Uh, hmm. that's, that's a common trivia in great opening lines of literature. Yeah. Mm, yeah. I, I think that's a Mandela effect, actually. Pork fried rice. Six. I keep telling you, Rob, it's a Mengele effect. You got it uh-huh. wrong. <laughs> All right. And uh, let's see. All you need is four to tie again. Uh, well, do this time we lived limits. up to our name. Yep. Yeah. 10 points. Oh, man. Oh, a commanding lead now. Okay. We're slipping. 12 points ahead of uh, the others. Yeah. yeah. At least we're not in last place. I and mean, I apologize to your husband. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Round four, Peggy. What do you got in store for us? Eating Double right along. Um, so I, I, I'm glad that Susan's not here because last week she made known, and I didn't know this, that she hates Wordle. So today's category, the last category, is Wordle. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yay. So I hopefully she'll watch the tape. Maybe she'll I come to love it. Oh, I have to stay for this then. Yay. Wait, what, what are the last, uh, yeah, the last, ten, the last 10 words in, in the... <laughs> Oh have you um, guys God, played? Uh, have you guys I've... played uh, Quartal yet? Yes, oh. yep. I play every morning. I actually mm-hmm. met James Wordle. Wait, no, did, did you say it. a different hey. thing than Wordle? Yes. Quartal. Q U. Quartal. Q U. It's four Wordle. games at the same time. No, no, never yeah. heard that one. All right, Wordle. muting everybody. Yeah, it's, Three. It's, it's hard. <laughs> Question number one: What company bought Wordle from the game's creator in two thousand? Did you go in? Oops, you did not go in. There you are. Number two. So give you a little plus or minus opportunity. In November of 2021, 90 people were playing Wordle. How many people were playing by January 9th of 2022? This is a plus or minus 25,000. And this is according to Wikipedia. So there you go. Believe what you will. Number three is How many possible solution words are there in the game? And you have four choices, 1,500, 2,315, 5,000, or 12,500. Go back 
here. Come on, come on. Number four is how many guesses do you get before you lose? And there's a typo in there, I'm sorry. Hmm. This next one I thought was interesting. It's kind of a mean question, but um, according to this one source, which was uh, a professor at George Mason University and some students that he got to help him with this, which of the following words is the best word to start with to arrive at the word in the fewest number of guesses? And then it's trade, trial, slice, or close. One of those words, they did some fancy work and on the computer and they came up with the fact that one of those words will get you there fastest. They did some other fancy work and, oh, where are you? Oh, you didn't get that one yet. There you go. The following, which of the following words is the best word to start with to have the highest probability of getting to cor the correct guess within the allotted chances? So this, these are, this is the word that's most likely to get you there, but um, maybe not as fast as the other word. Okay, and somebody actually said they met Mr. Wardle. So maybe they know the answer to this. This is, put it in the chat. He was referred to in Josh in the article that I read. Josh Wardle, the creator of Wordle, was brought up in which of the following Welsh villages? There's four choices there. They're all actual villages in Wales. Pontypridd, Landui Riddick, however you pronounce that, Port Marion, or St. Fagans, which sounds fun, doesn't it? Number eight is, does Wordle use standard American spelling or standard British spelling? Number nine is, Oh, I like this one. What US state <clears throat> has the best solving percentage, solving in the least number of attempts? New York, Minnesota, North Dakota, or Nevada? Now, how the hell do they know that? I don't know. <laughs> is that a total or is that a per capita? whole thing is stat driven and they they, yeah, stats. they they can tell by your ip like where yeah. you're it's uh, the, it's doing the well, chip in, it's it, the yes. chip in the fake meat it's, man it's a vaccine chip of course yeah 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 i don't know if they're using dpn <laughs> and the lot then number 10 is what international city has the best solving percentage and it's london new york canberra or toronto canada You got 10, right? I yep. think you got 10. Okay. No bonus? Uh, let me double check. I don't think I did a bonus. I think I stretched it to get there. No, okay. no bonus. Okay. Interesting. This is, a, I'm sure Susan will love this round. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Send everybody to their rooms. All righty. All right, you guys. Open all rooms. Go forth and get 10s.
and she's recording. And all we have is Kat's iPad. Hmm. How's that for guessing? God, that would be amazing if we got 10 out of 10 after guessing. I'm just like, oh. Uh, So what time is it where everybody's at right now? For me, it's 10 p.m. It's nine. It's nine where you are? James, what, what time do you got? You're muted, by the way. Nine o'clock here in California. Nine o'clock, oh, okay, here in California. California, California dreaming. Hmm. Nine. And I have mountain time. I'm in mountain. Mm -hmm. yeah. And as well as Larry is in mountain too. And Larry lives in the same city that I live in. You know what? She is the amazing thing. Ever since uh, the COVID hit, I've never seen Larry in person. So, uh, always online. Hello, Peggy. Are you guys back? Yeah. yeah. All righty then. We're pretty sure we got them all. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I we guessed. As he cackles. We guessed <laughs> on all of them, I think. Oh, you will not be alone, I promise. Except, except I think I was correct on number one. I believe I, believe I really was sure on number one. Um, I don't know that the other groups are ready to come back, but I'm really close to ready to call them back because it's it's getting late or at least it's getting late for me anyways well it's late yeah well we'll listen to how much they scream when i call them back here they come two minutes how did you get it to two minutes it just came up automatically that way but i don't know if it actually is two minutes um, I think Rob had something to do with that. So I, I think it was always set at two minutes, but for some reason, if you like do it from a breakout room, it doesn't work. But if you do it from the main room, it does. I don't know. I don't oh. understand it much. Oh, yeah. Here they are. Yay. Anybody nope. needed more time? Peggy, you thought that the get the question I thought you were going to do that you didn't do should have put in a wordle he, almost done and asked the team to finish it. <laughs> that would have been clever. And then I thought you were going to ask what is the name of uh, Wordle's girlfriend that he invented the game for. Oh, and I didn't find that in my. Uh... She, she was there. I met her when, uh -huh. when uh, he came to speak. Oh, cool. Did you know his village? No, I, I, I wish I could. I don't think he went that far back because he really started yeah. when he was dating her. She was bored and needed a game. And so he invented this game for her. He didn't go far enough back into his past, unfortunately. Does he have a Welsh accent? Uh, I didn't sound very, I mean, it was definitely a British accent, but I didn't yeah. quite narrow it down to Welsh. Well, well I'm not playing the game. I never heard of this game before coming. Would you know a Welsh accent? And I'm now playing it every yeah. day because you folks did it. Say, so, uh, Ron, when we were <laughs> at, when we were at Miles' place in Denver, that's the first time I saw it. Before we went there, I don't remember seeing ever having having no. heard of the game. By the time we got home, everybody was playing it. Well, that's like the one question, which is like yeah. 90 people playing it in November. How many people playing it in January, which is when we started all playing it because yeah. they introduced it to us. 
And so how many people? Did. How many people were at the bat mitzvah? Oh, yeah. And then plus or minus twenty five thousand. What you just said. We we had a little uh, Wordle tutor tutorial after we were done answering all the questions, so we could show people in our group that hadn't played it. Before. Yeah, we had some people who hadn't done it, but we didn't have time to do that. Uh, maybe if if the game is over and people want to hang out, we, others who are interested, we could tell. We them. we did pretty well. We had uh, we had the correct word uh, on our fourth uh, guess. Oh, nice! So we Excellent. Yeah. Oh, you're saying you did a Wordle? That's what you did. That's yeah, we saying? did. Well, don't yes. don't show me. No. Nope. <laughs> you go back and not, toilet. I, past I, I, I won't screen share. I only screen shared in our in our breakout room. You're Peggy's safe. got one behind her. I'm not sure if I should be looking. No, that's, Can we that's go back and do past ones? They you you used to be used able to, to be but uh New York Times put the kibosh on that uh, about a month or two ago hmm. because no, 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 no. uh yeah, because um th there was a place you should you could go to. It was called Hello uh I can't remember what it was, but anyway, you could go back and you could play at a certain date. It was That's archiving right. them, uh, but they stopped that. I have saved people get. I have saved all of my Wordles. I Me too. Them. Me too. I have, I have a little folder on my iPhone. Wordles. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I I forget the word. The second I finish it. I forget what the word was. Well, so I, that's why too. that's why I screenshot them. Actually, so, so as I'm playing, I flip through them and I, I'm just like, okay, I need a word that has an S, a T, and an L, but not in those positions. Did I have one like that before that I used? Oh yeah, that was wrong then. Maybe that's it. <laughs> maybe, maybe slightly cheating. I don't know. Nah. That's okay. Like studying. Uh, All right. So and what I'm, are the answers? I'm hoping there was a wordle, a wordle nut at least half a world not on every team but half if not i apologize um number one is the new york times yeah okay number no two, shout out no shout out so yes. yeah no number number two is two million. Oh, oh. I missed it by a million this so is, close. Plus minus a million you had even said that i think first uh yeah, i said two or three million and then we went with guesses. three dang it i think well, we it wasn't, it wasn't third we talked few, ourselves out of it million. because it was the plus or minus yeah, 25. Yeah. I think we said yeah. two or three million. Yeah. No, no, it can't be. It in, has in the to future, be less. you need to reevaluate your, your <laughs> ranges on your plus or minuses for answers. Yeah. Yeah, the range was throwing. Yeah. The same thing happened well, with the date. Perhaps with plus we can have a conversation years. about all trivia answers that are given a range have to be within a, the same percentage. But otherwise, I don't see why we would do that. Just because but, um, it's such a, it's basically like we didn't have a plus or minus because it's almost impossible to hit such a big number within that amount. We hit it exactly I right. Question: Do you know? I, had, what? I, heard, I heard people guess it. So Peggy. I was told there'd be yeah. no math. Do you know? <laughs> do you know what happened around yeah, then? Yeah, Abby's gone. Why are we doing math? Peggy, I, was there something different that happened around then? Because I was part of that wave. I started uh -huh. just about the beginning of January. What happened then? I don't know that there was any one thing other than it just blew up um, because people, oh, I know, it, it, you started being able to share it on Insta and Facebook. Oh, yeah. right. I'm and sure it that's went nuts after that. Go, what is this? See I it. What it. is that? Because I kept seeing it on oh, everyone viral. else's Facebook feeds. Yeah. And I go, what is this? Yeah. And I tried it. And I'm like, oh, this is fun. And I just yeah, started yeah, doing yeah. it every day. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Our first guess was 1.97 1. 1. million. <laughs> <laughs> too bad so, so sad. exact and precise there and so number three the total number of words that they're using as solution words right now is 2315 that's all it, it will seems take like, like a six number, years to use them all up wow yeah so it's gonna end in 2027 to use them all up so it's not I, I read something about six years six okay. years 2027 yeah. will be the last game then they'll then they'll expand it to six letter words well, like or it will jump title. to shark way before then and no oh, they'll just start repeating them yeah they'll start repeating randomly them. Or, repeat. or it will allow other words because yeah. there are over ten thousand words that you can guess that are correct guesses but they're not in the pool of potential solution i don't understand why i don't it, understand why yeah Number four is six. Or it'll fizzle out by then. Number yeah. five, C slice. Oh, and what man. I'm I never thought the C would be in there. I never thought the C would be in there. What do you got against C, Kevin? It's a very rare letter. C and V. Yeah, I didn't like the C. But yeah, you know, I, I'm thinking about that in, in five letter words, it isn't all that rare. 
like in general, yeah. like right. all words. It, a lot it, of words end in CK. When I, Susan, I don't yeah. if you're listening to this, this will be over soon. Please hang <laughs> Susan oh, is, is a five letter word. You can always hit the fast forward. Or just on fast forward, yeah. S U S A N is a five letter word. Number six. Play it like two times speed until this part is over. Number six is adept. Okay. Yeah, we got that hey, one. We got one. one. We got that hey, one. Yeah. Yay. Number seven is the Landui Riduk. No. Oh. 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 Very okay. short. Okay. Sorry, Sorry, Larry. Larry. Sorry, Larry. <laughs> Port Marion is actually where the prisoner was filmed. That's I recognize Susan that. would have known that. Pondy Prid is where Tom Jones is from, and my old friend Paul is from there too. And St. Fagans, I have no idea. That was just one that came up with my <laughs> quick look. <Yeah. clears throat> um, the standard spelling for a wordle is American. So they use yeah. C-O-L-O-R, for example, instead of O-U-R for color. Uh, number nine, I can't believe it. It says D, North Dakota. Oh. 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 What else do you have to do there? Wait, wait, we refuse to accept that. We refuse to accept that. They cheat. You know why? They cheat. Peggy. Not, there's only what five people in North Dakota right. and so three in the field. Field. Yeah, the <laughs> University of North Dakota has a few professors there. Peggy, you said that's D, it. North Dakota. There's no, that yeah, doesn't it's matter. C. C, North Dakota, okay. And um, and number 10 is also C for Canberra, Australia. Is oh. Oh. Why did I think it was? Hey. I could have sworn it was Toronto. All right, sorry about that, guys. Who could have possibly thought that was Canada? Damn. I thought you know, it was, Karen, I thought it was it's Karen, the reason it's North Dakota is so few people play that it's just a few really smart people. So there you go. It's easy to do the percentages. We couldn't decide between Nevada and North Dakota. Of course, you picked the wrong one. Oh, but it's based on percentage. So a few people yeah, are playing, it's easier to get a bigger percentage. Ah. Oh, yeah. so all five people that live in North Dakota play it. <laughs> oh, yeah, but it's a red state. There are no, no smart if people all there. five intelligent people, in, 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 in there, there's North an Air Force base there, though. There's a few. Yeah, smart that, people. That, that, Why not? So they right. must vote. Believing Tell so. them to vote. Yeah, yeah. All, all the all vote the Air Force people believe in UFOs now, so I don't count them. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Behind you was a few days ago, right, Peggy? I'm sorry. Behind you, that by you was a few uh, days ago. Um, I don't remember. It was. Uh, that was I, I'm just like Alan. Week. I forget. In, that, in that was, I'm pretty sure that was early last week. Yeah, yeah. Bacon, Bacon's got, my second guess when I get nothing on the first. Bacon? Yeah. Bacon. I like bacon. Mm. All right. We're ready for scores. Sharing screen. Yeah. Do we have to? Oh. Really? All right. Starting with my team. Can we pull out of the basement? No. <laughs> Sadly. <laughs> Sadly, we have four. <laughs> oh, 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 well, oh, we're, now we're tied for last. Yay. 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 And right. they haven't put their score in yet. I slept, stop the count. I, I, get a no. I could have a negative Wait. number. They're wrong. I slept through the trial of the century. Two. No, no seriously. No way. Two. Two. Oh my God. Oh. That's worse. I have a second. A little better than us. Uh, I have a second. Let's see. Uh, the peach tree dishes meet up. Six. Respectable. Wow, mm. Pork fried rice. Five. Five. And shall I ask or is it a 10? Oh, no. no. Uh, it's six and only because we had a cut several really good guesses. Okay. <laughs> six. So is it possible? Yes, it's still possible for some other team uh, to win. Ooh. We're tied for second. We need to play. <laughs> and it's an ever shrinking team because I need to go to work in a couple of minutes. So All uh, right. okay. on. So I'm gonna have to pass on for now. Hi, Ron. Good, good Hi, Ron. See you in Bye, a Ron. week, folks. Night, Bye. Night, Bye. Next week. I'll you, hold down the uh, orange while you're gone. All right. It's just you and me, Gail. Okay. In other words, it's probably just you. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay right, what do we have for a bonus, Peggy? The bonus category is a mix and match. The first 10 things on the list are f names of female heads of state, each one or, or leaders. Each one of these women is either a president or a prime minister of a country. So you will match the 10 women to the 10 countries that will come up on the next chat. 
Ah. Current, obviously. Uh, they were when I researched it. Who knows what the hell's <laughs> happened since then? Has there been any coups in the last few hours? I haven't heard of any, but it's you never know. So there, some of them were kind of obscure, but I think the combination of the ones that you would know, um, and just you know, just from the names, honestly, you'll get some. Because you know, people have different names in different places. So okay, so. You've got 10 females. And then there's a bonus question. What? Bonus in the bonus? There's a what? bonus in the I bonus. I don't know what? if that's possible. The world might explode. What? I had one last week. No one got it. I think this is the one you're going to get. OK. For sure. So this one is. Um, on the Wikipedia page, list of current heads of state and government, mm. what one one woman is listed as the head of oh. state in paren in in quotes for fifteen countries? Uh, oh, don't say anything. I know okay. you're talking. I, don't I say do anything. Have a question. Okay, open the room. I do. I do mm. have one question. Oh, oh. Okay. These are all heads of state and not heads of government. They are either, either they are either a president or a prime minister okay. of one of the countries. Okay. So either or. So yeah. only the last the bonus deals. The last one is listed head technically head. as head of state. Okay. All righty. Go get those elevens. Send us to our rooms. the breakout rooms. Oh, oh I gosh! We need I keep all forgetting the to do all my jobs. There you go. I'm going to call you back around 9 32 or 3, hopefully. So hurry.
and she's not in here. Cool. I hope I'll be able to sleep the entire night tonight. I've been having trouble sleeping as of late. I just, I, I fall asleep and then can't stay asleep. Just been bothering me. Oh, well. Just like that one kid when I walked out in the hallway. Oh, he's old. <laughs> it's like, yep, I'm old. <laughs> Kids just stating a fact. Yeah. Yeah. We, um, I bought a boat and uh, up in uh, the Pacific Northwest, and um, my one of my daughters and I were working on it. And this uh, like three year old girl walks by with her mom and says, uh, starts talking to us. Okay, that's you know, cool. She says, "Yeah, that boat there, that's bigger than your boat." <laughs> it's like, oh, and her mom got all embarrassed. It's like, it's okay. I mean, it's, it's it is true. <laughs> yeah. That kids, is. Will say, kids will say the darndest things no matter what. They just speak their minds. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. I didn't care. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I'm old. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There was one kid that even said, oh, he's fat. And then the parent is like, yeah, no, you can't say that. Mm -hmm. like, well, it's true. <laughs> Yeah. Pretty fat. <laughs> what are you going to do? That's right. <sighs> oh, well. Yeah. At least I, I, I may not be sleeping as well, but uh, at least I'm falling asleep better i have a new cpap machine so oh good yeah Helps. Help. yeah it does help yeah and i was fortunate the government paid for it so i was very mm -hmm. happy about that two thousand dollar machine oh, those wow. things were expensive oh they're they're crazy expensive two thousand dollars for one of those puppies Oh man, because yeah. around here you, you, you can get them for like eight hundred dollars. Oh yeah, no, not here. Two thousand bucks. Mm -hmm. uh, eight hundred. That's cheap. Holy moly! See that machine for eight hundred. I wish. I got one years ago, years and years ago, and they tried to bill me for it. And I said, no, 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 this is covered by my insurance. And they kept saying, no, um, well, they take it out. It's, a, it's, um, it's gonna come out of insurance for a long time. I said, well, what happens if I quit my job? And they said, well, it's rent to own. I says, well, write that down on the paper then. I wanted to see where it says rent to own. So after a certain amount of time, I would own it. So then I lost my job. And they took me to court and asked me for, to give it back or to, or to pay a $660 bill. I pulled out the form and said, it says rent to own on it. And they looked at the copy, the carbon copy that the guy had, and you could barely read rent to own on it. And they dismissed the whole case. I was like, didn't have to pay for it. <laughs> oh, yeah. They were trying to soak me for $660 that I owed still on it. I'm like, wait a minute. No, this was covered by my insurance. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was fortunate the government covered mine, so. You live in Canada. That makes a difference. <laughs> well, You're it. yes and no. Um, what is, your, what is your health insurance family plan cost for? Yeah, nor, normally, well, I'm on, 
I'm on disability, so it doesn't cost me anything. But normally, a CPAP $220 a week for me and my wife. Yeah, normally, a CPAP And I still have like thousands of dollar deductibles they have to meet before they pay any serious money. Oh, yeah, I've, I've heard about the insurance. Awful. In Healthcare for all. Healthcare for all. Healthcare for all. Healthcare for all. Okay, yeah. everyone is Medicare back. Is <laughs> Peggy, yeah. are you ready with the answers? Uh -huh. I gotta get up in the morning. All right, so um, number one is Jacinda Ardern, and she is New Zealand. So that Which is it. Is I. an I. Number two is Katrin Jacob's daughter or Jacob's daughter. That's Iceland. That's probably one you could figure out. And that is E. Number three is Samia Suluhu Hassan, who is Tanzania. Oh, and that is A. Uh, oh, get it Jamie. Get it backwards. Three we is get him. What, what? Three is A. Three is A. And four, oh, yeah. Ava Magdalena Anderson, obviously, I think, Swedish, C. Um, Sheikh Hasina Wajed is um, five. Is that five? Yeah, that's Bangladesh, so that's J. You and were right, Jamie. Again, backwards. Natalia Gavrilita, number six, is D, Moldova. Seven is Sally Work Zudi, and that is um, Ethiopia. That is uh, F. Eight, Susana Kaputova is Slovakia. That's B. Nine is Katerina. Oh, that's a hard one. Sak Sakalara Pulo. <laughs> and I think you might have guessed that from the name. That's Greece. That's number H, letter H. Number 10 is Salome Zurabichvili, and that's Georgia, G. <clears throat> And the, the bonus um, was Queen Elizabeth. Yeah. 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 Peggy, so I have Peggy. two questions. That was a trick question. Peggy, I have two questions. Uh huh. Um, so, has anyone else ever heard of a woman referred to Sheikh in an Arab nation? <clears throat> and I, I, I was surprised by that, but yes. she has the, she has the, Name, yes. so. And number two, I think that just means just, essentially that means like king or prince or something. So, and, and can we just give all the points to Jamie and hang me up and and you know <laughs> put me in stockades or something? Could the shame, could the um, shame Peggy, could Peggy, could you just go down really quick? Go like letter, one letter, letter. letter or number, letter, number, letter, number, letter, number, letter, number. Oh, the, the answers are in the chat. Aren't they? Okay. Uh, yeah, they weren't a minute okay. ago, but I guess yeah. So it's one I, two E, three A, four C, five J, six D, seven F, eight B, nine H, and ten G. You sunk my battleship. Now, could it could it possibly be that the sheikh in an Arab country or a, a Muslim country is the Muslim equivalent of a sheksa? <laughs> 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 And she wouldn't be Muslim. I, she's like, one's a sheikh, one's a shiksa. Which one are you going to marry? Well, that's what, what do you want? Yeah. <laughs> I, I shake goddess. All right, 10. So that was hard. Um, nine, and I'm sorry. I thought, I don't think four. I expected it to be that hard. But when I started looking at them, I went, oh, yeah, those could be either or. I would do it. Oh, that was okay. That was all right. I think we did okay. Because um, usually the bonus rounds the usually are very competitive. Editive. Usually, both rounds are an easy ten points. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, I don't think I don't think we got zero. James, did we get zero? All right, here here we go with the scores. Ah, now I can't see them anymore. <laughs> what? I I have a Guess question. I sent the the bonus thing to one of our team members because we didn't have time to get to it. Oh. Can we count it? Oh yeah. <laughs> Jamie so and I, know. Jamie and I said that as soon as we came on board. Oh, okay. Yeah, Good. Okay, got it. Okay. Sorry, we started right before you came in the room, Janine. That's a no, no. Sorry. Okay, got it. I just didn't have it recorded. Oh, so. yeah. All right, where's my so team? let's start with the team in the absolute last place. Can we do better than last place, Gray Wolves? What did we get? No, we got three, I think. Oh, I, I got four. <laughs> 
We got four. Okay, I was having a lot of time trouble like batching it up. So only because four. only because please, we got Queen Elizabeth. Gal, you oh, the, oh yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. I forgot to count her. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. All right. We're not in last place. Okay. Game's over. Uh, that's it. Goodbye. Everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I knew we weren't going to win, but I didn't want to be in last place, but it looks like it might happen. I slept through the trial of the century. What'd you get? You are in last place. 25. Aww. I mean, we took five. Uh, hey, at least we had five. Hey, that's... All right, right mm -hmm. now, it's a three-way tie for second. Let's see, pork fried rice. What'd you get? Rob, we're unique. Pork fried rice. Anyone? Anyone? Ben, Bob? Okay. Sorry, I was on mute. Uh, okay. We got eight. Ooh. Oh my god! Ooh, nice. Did we get the bonus? Nine? No. Yes. <clears throat> yeah, that's with the bonus. First place oh, okay. for a few seconds, at least. The peach tree dishes beat up. A nine. No. Oh, because the chamber. And would have had ten if we would have listened to if I didn't talk Jamie out of it. Wow, that's, that's <laughs> impressive. All right. Um, could they possibly have gotten two or three due to statutory limits? Dot, dot, dot. Well, we, all, we only knew the answer to one, but we reasoned and strategized our way to an eight. Oh, nice. oh my God. God. Commanding leave. But Jamie, we got more than that team. Yeah, we did. On the round. Very good. <laughs> the, average, I, the, average, the average score here, 31.8. Uh, like 10 points less than the last game. It's like, yeah, well, the last game was a really high scoring game. Well done, Peggy. That one, not too bad. 33. 33. 33. We uh, went from last to second. Yay. Well, that was bad. How dare you guys pull ahead? <laughs> yeah, last week I made it too easy. No, I liked it that way. It was fun, though. That was, <laughs> it was it a was good, fun. I wasn't sure if people liked that. I heard a lot of groaning. <laughs> well that's just that's the that's what we do yeah, yeah we like true. doing that don't don't <laughs> kill our fun yeah. well, i like I, what fun, i like i like to today grow. i like today though that peggy gave us categories that weren't necessarily related you know right. the problem is if you do the same category five times and someone doesn't know that subject. Yeah. Helen likes that yeah. none of peggy brown nobody does great. that who does that i did it but Every question was not related no, to the categories. Right, they're yeah. all different. Yeah, no, yeah the no, question, that was fun. It was, it was fun. still Thanks, fun, Peggy. even though I didn't know any of it. Hey, Thanks Peggy. for all that, Peggy. Thank you, Peggy. Even we lost. Peggy. That it's was tiring. very good, Peggy. I'm I sorry it. not everyone can win. Now, uh, everybody no, go out and read it. Moby Dick, because there will be a Moby Dick follow-up category later <laughs> in the year. <laughs> <laughs> Has that ever been remade since the Gregory Peck version? It was. Probably. Um, in yeah. the 90s, I think. Patrick Stewart, right? Yeah, no, Patrick seriously. Stewart, they have. And, oh, um, damn! I need to watch that. And what's there, his there, face there, from Dead Poets was the was there, Yeah, that's when he beams up the um the whale into San Francisco. Good night, Gail. Oh no, that was shot. There was the heart I'm, of the Bye, Gail. Gail. Bye, Gail. Are we it's, set uh, for next week on we, categories? Yeah. We are set for next week. Next week it is going to be Terry. Vincent, me, Carl, and Gail. All right. Yeah, I'm actually. So do we get a wordle? Okay. Wordle <laughs> demonstration. Good night, guys. Good night, Good night Alan. Alan. Good night, Alan. Alan. Thank you, yeah. Alan. I just Thanks, I want Larry. to share, share something. Going back to the naming, team picking the team name, we did not go with Midget Gas. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I told the story. Ask Kevin. <laughs> I told oh, yeah. a story about my hometown. There was these two midget guys that owned a gas station. <laughs> and it's real. And when I was a kid, they were there and they used to put a box on the ground and jump up and wipe your windshields and check your oil and stuff like that. You, sure you, weren't, you weren't having a nightmare about uh, the Wizard of Oz? No, it's absolutely real. <laughs> and and the, there was a guy, I posted the link. The very first thing in the night was the, the song about the midget gas station. There's a guy who wrote a song about it. God, that was hey. pretty funny. Um, hey Rob, if you make me a um, a, a 